welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jacqueline and I make these videos every week, a whole variety of things, lifestyle, beauty, adventure, all sorts of fun stuff. And I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. I think I want a little ham on the bronzer today, but that's all right. Um, today I was going to talk about my favorite mineral sunscreens. So last year I talked about my favorite sunscreens in general. So I'll leave that video up in the corner and down below. I kind of explain a little bit more about SPF and the different levels and like how much protection you get, UVA, UVB, broad spectrum, all that fun stuff. So if you want just more information on SPF and in general, go check that video out because I'm not going to go too in depth here. But that video also has chemical and mineral sunscreens in it. And I have since kind of like shifted to mostly mineral sunscreens, just a personal preference. I figured I would just share all my favorite chemical or mineral sunscreens this time around. So before we jump in, I do want to mention two things before this video, like I do with every skincare video. First of all, I am not a dermatologist. I am not an esthetician. I am just somebody who loves skincare. Um, I do my own research on skincare and I just really enjoy skincare. So please remember that when you're watching this video and when you're commenting, please be kind in the comments. Um, I'm not a professional, so if you have any big major questions, I would definitely go ask your dermatologist or your esthetician or whoever you trust with your skincare. Um, I'll try to answer any questions you have as best as possible, but uh, yeah, I just like to point that out before I start the videos. The other thing I like to point out is my skin type. I have very dry, acne-prone, semi-sensitive skin. I do get kind of like red throughout the day and stuff, but nothing like crazy. Um, I also want to mention that like I have Italian genes, so I don't tend to like burn super easily. And when I do burn, it turns to tan almost like the very next day. So I don't want to mention that as well. Um, and I also live in Colorado Springs, so I am at a higher elevation. So sunscreen has become extra important to me. I was always putting on sunscreen every day on my face, but now... I'm thinking more about putting it on my body and stuff every day too, just because we're at higher, higher elevation, the sun is just stronger here. So um, yeah, I like to mention all those things before we hop in. So let's just get to talking about my favorites. I have a few body, I have a couple face, and then a couple that you could use on your face and your body. So all of these are 30 or 50 SPF. I tend to like go for 30 or 50, just, you know, a personal preference depends on what I'm doing that day. If I'm just going to be sitting inside and like maybe take a walk around the block, I'll just do 30. You still obviously need sunscreen inside if you're sitting near a window and stuff, you're still getting sun exposure. But for me, if I'm like inside most of the day, 30 is perfectly fine. If I know I'm going to be going on like a longer walk or a hike or I'm going to be outside for a longer period of time, I'll put on the 50. And sometimes I do a combo of both. So it just depends on how I'm feeling on a day. So let's start with my favorite face ones. So the first one, I don't actually have a bottle with me, but I'll pop it up right here is the Kinship Self Reflect probiotic moisturizing sunscreen zinc oxide SPF 32. So this is a fully chemical or mineral, I keep saying chemical, <laughs> mineral sunscreen. It has a uh, 22.4% zinc oxide. That is your sun protector. Um, it also says it's a reef safe nano, non nano zinc oxide. So it's gentle on the skin as well as providing that UVA, UVB protection that you want. It has turmeric in it uh, and something called Kin Biome, um, which is Kinship's plant-based probiotic that supports a stronger skin barrier and a clear and clear glowing skin. So what I love about this mineral sunscreen is it has a slight tint to it. It's nothing crazy. I don't know if you have like super dark skin tone, if it's going to leave you ashy or not. But for my skin tone, and I think most skin tones, the tint in there is just going to take away that white cast. It's going to blend into your skin easier so you don't have a white cast. Because that's one of the big issues with a mineral sunscreen is that you get a white cast most of the time, which sucks. But mineral sunscreens just tend to be gentler on the skin, and that's the reason I like to use it. They also are supposedly um, better for the environment. So 
those are just some of the reasons I like to use a mineral sunscreen. But this one is awesome. It's a really nice texture. It feels like a normal kind of like thicker moisturizer than a sunscreen. In my opinion, I think it blends in really easily and just makes your skin look beautiful. It's definitely not super glowy, but I wouldn't call it matte either. I think this is great for all skin types because of that. I don't think it's super drying. So if you have dry skin, it'll still feel great on your skin, but because it's not super glowy and like oily or anything, I think people with oily skin would really like this as well. And then obviously if you have normal skin, this is gonna be great for you as well. And I just really, really enjoy the sunscreen. So it comes in two sizes. It comes in a 1.75. So about the same size as the CeraVe one I'm about to talk about. And that is $25. And it also comes in a three and a half ounce one. So just a little bit bigger than this Neutrogena one. And that's $42. So it is on the more expensive side for an SPF. But it works really well and I really enjoy it. And I've used a bunch of bottles of this. I currently don't have it just because I've been loving the CeraVe one I'm about to talk about so much that I haven't been using it, but it is amazing. And I do highly recommend it, especially if the CeraVe one doesn't work for you, which I will talk about again in a second. So let's actually jump into the CeraVe one. I actually did a whole video on this CeraVe sunscreen. This is the CeraVe Hydrating Sunscreen Face Sheer Tint SPF 30. And I personally love this stuff. I think it's great. Um, and like I said in that full review video, so if you want like a ton of more information on this, go watch that video, like I said. But like I said in that video, I think this is for a certain person with a certain skin type and a certain skin tone. Supposedly, it's supposed to transform to match your skin tone. I don't believe that. I think if you want that to happen, you have to use so little and then it's not giving you enough protection. You're not using enough to gain the protection of it. Um, so this color might not work for everybody. Um, and I also find it to be super hydrating and like not, I don't want to say it's oily or greasy because that's going to turn some people off, but it definitely is super hydrating and super glowy. So if you have oily skin, you might not like this either, but if you have a really dry skin and a skin tone kind of close to mine, maybe a little bit deeper, maybe a little bit lighter, this is going to work so well for you. It's amazing. I love how it feels on my skin. Obviously, because it's from CeraVe, it's got their ceramides in it. This uses zinc oxide and titanium dioxide as their sun protection, their UVA and UVB protection. It also has niacinamide in it and hyaluronic acid. So it has a whole bunch of other like good skincare ingredients in there for you as well. And I just noticed my skin really loves this stuff. I've been using it a lot, especially like during the week when I'm just, you know, putzing around the house and stuff. It just looks really beautiful on my skin and I just think it's it's a really really good sunscreen if you want to know more like I said go watch that video that I've linked down below so um it's really really nice you just have to have the right skin tone and skin type to use it unfortunately I wish they would come out with a few other shades because then it'd be more accessible but um if you can make this work for you it's a really good mineral SPF all right so the next two are both kind of like those in-between ones that like I've used them on my face, but you could definitely use them on your body as well. The first one, again, I don't have the actual bottle, but I'll pop a picture up right here. It's the Aveeno uh, Positively Mineral Sensitive Sin Skin Sunscreen. This is SPF 50, um, which makes it great for your face and your body. And I just really like this stuff. It feels great on the skin. It definitely leaves a white cast. The rest of the ones I'm going to talk about definitely leave a white cast because they're not tinted. But I didn't find this one to be super hard to like blend in or anything. How I like to use like most of these is I'll put like my skincare on, my moisturizer on, then put my sunscreen on and kind of let it sit for a while. I'll brush my teeth or, um, you know, get dressed, do whatever else I need to do. And then once it's kind of like warm on my skin, I'll go back and like finish blending it in. And that takes away most of the white cast. I think because it's mineral, there's always just going to be a little bit of a white cast. And that's something I've come to accept. Um, but this is like so good. It really does blend really well. So this um, has, this has zinc oxide in it um, as its protection. 
100% zinc oxide. It has their nourishing oat complex. It's hypoallergenic and designed to be extra gentle on the skin. I think all that is true. It's just a really solid sunscreen. I think Aveeno just makes really good sunscreens in general and this one's just really nice. Like I said, it takes some work to blend in, but I like that I can use it on my face and I know that my face isn't going to break out from it, but I could also use it on my body as well. So this would be like a great one, you know, throw in a beach bag or your hiking backpack or something. Um, so you didn't have to bring like multiple tubes of like, you know, one for your face, one for your body, all that stuff. This is just like a really solid, easy sunscreen that you're just going to like feel good putting anywhere you need sunscreen. Okay, so the next one might seem a little bit weird, but I love this one also for my face and my body. And this is the Neutrogena Pure and Free Baby Sunscreen. So every once in a while, I just love a baby sunscreen because they tend to be even gentler on your skin than just a normal mineral sunscreen because they're free of like fragrance and dyes and all sorts of other things um, to be super gentle on baby skin. So it's obviously going to be super gentle on your, your skin as well too. So once again, this is, um, has 21.6% zinc oxide in it, leaves a white cast. And I kind of do the same thing I was just talking about with the Aveeno one where I leave it on my skin for a little bit to warm up and then blend it in, but it works so well. It says this contains their pure screen technology to absorb, reflect, and scatter dangerous sun rays. It has sensitive sensitive skin baby sunscreen is made with a unique tear-free formula so it won't sting eyes um and i just think it's really again a solid easy to use you know it's going to be gentle on your skin on your children's skin whoever you're using this for it's going to be gentle and good and going to give them the protection that they need it doesn't have any dyes phthalates aluminum doesn't have any added fragrance it's mineral based and it's paraben free. So like I said, this is just like free of so many things that you know you're gonna get the right protection without any like, any irritants or anything like that in it. And Neutrogena, again, they just make really good sunscreens. I know if I pick up a Neutrogena sunscreen, it's gonna work for me and it's gonna give me the protection I need. And this one is just so nice and gentle and just, I really have been enjoying this. So this one's great to layer with like, my CeraVe every once in a while, like if I'm going to be around the house for the morning and maybe I'm going out in the afternoon, I'll put the 50 on first, you know, go throughout my day. And then when I go to reapply, I'll put on the CeraVe over it and it works really well together. And I just really enjoy the Neutrogena sunscreen as well. All right. So the last two are both mainly for your body. I mean, you could put them on your face, but I save these ones specifically for my body. And I have one spray one and one like lotion. So the spray one is from Sunbum. This is their uh, mineral spray sunscreen. Again, this is SPF 30 and this has 14% zinc oxide. So first of all, this smells amazing. And that's part of the reason I might not want to put it on my face because it does have a scent to it. I, it doesn't say it's fragrance free, but I don't see any like added fragrance. So I don't know what it's, the fragrance is coming from, but it definitely has a has a really strong fragrance, but I really enjoy the smell of it. I think it smells really, really good. But this is gluten-free, paraben-free, oxybenzone-free, retinol pomade-free, vegan, and hyperallergenic. And I just really enjoy this stuff. The spray can be a little messy because it's mineral. So you're gonna see uh, like the white cast and it's kind of like slippery and just a little bit greasy. So I definitely recommend if you're gonna use this to use it outside or you know maybe like in your shower or something so everything gets washed down the drain but it works really really well i've used this a few times not a few times more than a few times on my body and i haven't noticed i got any like burns or anything it just feels really good on my skin um again it does leave a white cast but i think it works really well so you just spray it on and then rub it in um i think this leaves the least amount of white cast compared to like some of the other ones, but it definitely still leaves a white cast. The spray nozzle works really well. And I just think again, it's just such a good sunscreen. Um, definitely gives me the protection I need. I love that it smells great. So this has been like a really, one of my go-tos recently when, you know, I'm gonna like go take a walk or something. I just, I've been really enjoying this one. 
All right, and then the last one is from Coppertone. This is their pure and simple sunscreen lotion. This is SPF 50. You'll kind of see a theme here besides from the sun bum. I like to pick ones that are like really simple and easy and don't have a lot of extra stuff in them so my skin doesn't get irritated. So this is um, a hypoallergenic sunscreen for sensitive skin. It doesn't have phthalates, parabens, synthetics, fragrance, or dyes. I mean, it's just a really nice sunscreen for your body. It is like super liquidy, like, I think you can hear that. Like you can hear it like super liquidy in there. So that makes it really easy to spread on your body. Again, still have the white cast, but this just doesn't take quite as long to spread onto the body because it's kind of like a thinner, more liquidy consistency, but it still works so well. So this has 24.08 zinc oxide. And I just have been like super enjoying using this when we go on hikes and stuff. Maybe I would be outside for a little bit longer or it's like super bright out or something. I've just been loving this one. It says it has 100% uh, natural botanicals in it, like tea leaf, sea kelp, and lotus extract. I don't know what any of those things would do in here, but it just works really well. It feels great on my skin. It doesn't leave it feeling like greasy or anything, but it feels like hydrated and protected. And that's what I'm looking for from a sunscreen. So this one has been really nice to use just like on my legs and my arms and stuff. Again, I don't know if I would use this on my face, but because it is the pure and simple, I think it would be okay. They do make this same like line for your face, like a specific one for your face. I don't know. I tend to like stick to the ones I know work on my face really well. And then have separate ones for my body and then in a pinch maybe i'll use it on my face but this is a really really good one so i've really been enjoying this as well all right so those are all my favorite mineral sunscreens right now i'm still testing more out and you know taking recommendations and stuff like that so if you have any mineral sunscreens that you love leave me a recommendation down below i would love to hear from you guys and get more recommendations but i just love mineral sunscreens and these are some of the best so hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and help me reach my 1,000 subscriber goal for the year by subscribing to our little adventure family here. We would love to have you. And yeah, I think that's it for this video. So I will see you in our next adventure. Bye.